All right, good morning, guys. Hunt number three of the California 21, 2021 turkey season. Spring turkey. I'm going solo today. As you've seen from the last hunt, we had a lot of close opportunities and some good stocks, but we didn't end up tagging one out that day, but we got them patterned and that's the key. I really feel like I'm gonna get one this morning. Um, getting here, I'm gonna basically get out there where I need to be about seven o'clock. Shoot time's 6.30, so a little bit later than I wanted. I ain't gonna lie, boys, it's a little harder for me to get up in the morning for turkey hunt than it is for duck hunt. I can pop out of bed for ducks. I love, it. turkey's a blast. Whatever's in season's fun to hunt, but it's a little bit different um, motivation for me. But nonetheless, I'm out here. I wanna get one really bad with my bow. I'm shooting my bow today. Um, I've got we've got this Tom patterned and I think today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna get him So if he does what he's been doing I should be able to get him. I'm gonna be set up. I know he won't he's not usually at the spot This early, so that's why I wasn't too worried about getting here a little bit later But anyways got my bow got my face mask got my stuff. I will say this I'm not gonna call I'm not gonna put a decoy out because the last couple days of hunting beans that were only five days deep into the season. They're super tight-lipped. They're gobbling a little bit, but they're not fired up, and they're not responding to calls hardly. And uh, they're very, very spooked. So like, that's why I said I wanna get set up in the spot, just be really quiet, really still. I'm not gonna call, don't wanna draw no attention, just want him to keep coming to that spot he's been coming to, and then just try to get a shot. It should be like a 30-yard shot with my bow. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, I'm set up. They're already on their way. They're moving really fast, they come down the hill. draw. He, usually he's been strutting around in this one spot for a little bit and then he comes over by that tree I just showed you and he just stays there and struts for a long time until the sun starts popping over the, the ridge line. I'm trying to be really quiet though because they're moving fast and it, they're not gobbling a lot but when they gobbled last about three minutes ago they are way closer. I've got heavy cover to my left, which is good because they're coming from the left. The only bummer is for me to see them coming. If they sneak down this little draw right here, I'm not gonna know it. in the whole
two toms fighting? Sounds like they're stuck together. What is going on? I get a closer look. It looks like they're stuck together. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, that was like an hour long stalk. One phrase, <laughs> stinking hands. Oh, you guys seen that clip? It, they had me pinned for five plus minutes. So as you've seen that footage, I, I, I honestly thought they were stuck together somehow. I knew it was two Toms and they were fighting, but it, it was like, no matter how they would fall or move, 
it was like they it didn't look like to me from that distance that they were separating. Man, I'm soaking wet. Sweat. Let me take this hoodie off. So I thought they were going to fight to the death, and I thought, or they were stuck together, and I thought, well, it's just like to me, like two bull elk. When two bull elk are fighting, it doesn't. You can run in on them. They don't even care. They're they're out of it. So I thought, hey, I might as well give it a shot because I seen the hens, and they were way over, way away from those two toms. So I just booked it. I was basically running. It dips down like this. I don't know how in the world they didn't see me. I'm I'm like walking fast, almost running, and all of a sudden I like slam the brakes and I see a head do this. And I'm like, okay, because when I came over the ridge just a little bit, I, I didn't see the two toms. I mean, it was that fast. I, I was out there within one minute. So I was like, oh, no, that might be them coming right at me. So I got down on one knee, knocked an arrow. I peeked up, and it was the hands. I don't know how they didn't see me or hear me. I take off. I book it. I basically run to my left because now I see the tom coming, and he's, like, coming towards the hands. I go to the left. They're down in this little gully. And they pinned me against that tree like you've seen. I was there for five minutes. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Cause my goal was to get way ahead of that Tom. Cause I knew he'd want to go up in those trees. I don't know why, I just, I felt like that's what he was gonna do. He was kind of walking that way too. So that helped me like, he's gonna go up there and watch. But I had enough blockage of trees and wood line. He would never see me. So I, I go by that tree, I'm gonna work my way. The hands come right at me. And they come within 20 yards, four of them. And they're sitting their feet in and I'm in the shadows. I'm not up against the tree, but I'm in the shadow of this big tree. My leg was hurting so bad from, I was kind of in a weird position. They caught me in a weird position. I just froze <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, you got to be kidding me. And now I got my face mask on and everything. And now I see that Tom working his way right where I was going. And I'm like, why is he not coming towards the hands? Well, they keep looking. They think they see something. I mean, they're looking right at me, and they just keep feeding. They're feeding right towards me. They come within 20 yards. Then they kind of turn to the right a little bit, nonchalantly walk off, and I'm like, oh, reposition my leg. So they kind of go up the hill and go in the brush, and I'm like, I just got to get aggressive. I run down low, run around the side, get to this tree, and all of a sudden, this Tom with a beard about, looked like about 10 inches long, about dragging the ground, he was the one that beat up the other one, and the other one had a really nice beard too. And he was feeling sorry for himself. He stayed out there. I ended up seeing him. He just kind of hunkered down, wasn't moving much. I don't know if he was hurt. This one was strutting his stuff up the hill. And I'm like, great. Right the tree that I was going to before those dumb hens caught me, he walked right by it, well, like 10 yards. I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. So he goes up in there. He acts a little suspicious. He goes up with the hens. I'm like, okay, I go around, get to this next tree. And then I see this big fat redhead. And I can't save all this on GoPro because if I do, it's going to go beep, beep, beep. And I didn't have the, that sound turned off. <sighs> Sorry to keep telling on, but this story keeps going on, okay? So he's 45 yards now. I'm 45 yards from the tom. Big old redhead, big old beard. I mean, just massive bird. But he's in so much brush. He's like, it's that short stuff about waist high, and he's standing right in it. I have no shot, like zero. And he like looks, looks, and then he kind of barely goes over the hill. And I'm like, I'm at the top of this ridge, and I'm like, it looks like they would cross right there. I don't know this. I'm just guessing. And it goes, it dips down and up across its 85 yards. And I still at the top, I could have walked all the way to the bottom. Green grass would have been really quiet. And I'm like, ah, they're probably not going to do that. Then I'm like, no, I'm going to go to the bottom in case they cross. I'm going to be like 30 yards from whatever comes across here. Yep. They came across. And nope, I did not walk to the bottom. So he was 85 yards from me. Big old top, massive. Oh my goodness, I'm so mad at myself. If I would have walked down the bottom, he would have never seen me. I would have had a 20 to 30 yard shot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Bow hunting. I could have killed that bird twice today if I had a shotgun. I called this. I knew it was going to happen. Bow hunting, you're, you're going to always want to revert back to a rifle or shotgun and say, oh, if I would have had this, I could have killed that bird. But that's the challenge of it. Colton had a couple opportunities on the last video, as you've seen, hunt number two, but he had a bow. And I love the challenge of it. It's mind games, man. It's crazy. Like I said, I got within 45 yards of them, and that's stalking, guys. Hunting, not killing. Just to throw it out there, we have a podcast, so we've had some really amazing guys on the podcast, from military to law enforcement to turkey professional hunters to duck masters, all that good stuff. So check it out, The MVM Show. It's on 
uh, YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, all that good stuff. Time is of the essence. I gotta get back, it's 10 o'clock. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Titus, zero, turkey, three. They're putting a whooping on me. We'll see you guys on the next one.